I'm Trisha Swenson, and these are your Weekend Picks. Ski season is back at Beaver Creek. We just had opening day on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, but we have a lot of things to tell you about during this holiday weekend, starting with the tree lighting at Beaver Creek. So on Friday, we're gonna have a very busy day. We're gonna have visits with Santa starting in the morning, going into the early afternoon, free ice skating at the Black Family Ice Rink right in the heart of the village. And then we're gonna have a holiday crafts and fair that'll be going on Friday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. In case you're looking for a unique gift, get some of that Christmas shopping done early. And then we're gonna have ice skating and flipping the switch on the tree. It is an annual tradition here at the Beeves. So it's a great way to round out the Thanksgiving holiday and get things set for Christmas with the tree lighting and everything. So that'll be going on on Friday. Now over in Vail, we have a lot of things happening with Reveille Vale. Reveille Vale is the celebration of the beginning of winter. It started out on November 10th, Vail's opening day. It's going all the way through the 6th of December. And they have a lot of different activities that are happening, including some concerts. We have turntable review on Friday. And then on Saturday, we're gonna have DJs during the day and into the evening. And then on Sunday, we're gonna have a band from Nashville called The Woods. So free concerts out on the streets of Vail. Pretty fun for you to kind of work out that lactic acid in your legs after skiing all day. Now, another thing that's going on in Vail, actually in Lion's Head Village, part of Reveille, is the Lion's Head tree lighting. So that'll be on Saturday night, six o'clock, about a half hour long, six to six thirty. The fabulous Fens will play. We'll have uh, a couple of speakers and dignitaries there. And we're gonna flip the switch on the lion's head tree. And then right after that, we're gonna go into their ice spectacular. So they have some ice skating shows going on also, featuring national teams members and world-class figure skaters. So come on out for that. It's just gonna be a really fun weekend. And then a lot of people talk about Black Friday this time of year. Well, I call it White Friday. I think you should just head out to the slopes and just hang out here and don't worry about your shopping. But if you are gonna shop, shop local. We are having a Black Friday sale at Buzz's Boards. This is in Bill Village. We're also having a Plaid Friday at 714 Home in Edwards. This is a wonderful houseware store, a great unique gifts. And if you wear your plaid, they're gonna take your picture. They're gonna let their uh, viewers vote on it and you could go home with a $150 gift basket from 714 Home. Squash Blossom, they're doing a cool thing with ear piercing and a jewelry artist that's gonna be there. So a couple good reasons to come out and do some shopping. And then on Saturday night, let loose with a little Western dancing. For Eagle Ranch is bringing out the Walker Williams Band and they're gonna have dance instruction early, six to seven, and then dancing, line dancing, partner dancing, food will be available for you, food and drinks for purchase, and adults, kids, you're all welcome to come. So it's a really beautiful setting out at Fort Eagle Ranch, which is just west of Vail and Beaver Creek out by Walcott and it just could be a great family experience for you. And then the mountain, we've got about 55 acres that opened at Beaver Creek for their opening day, opening weekend. So pretty much the Centennial Lift, the Latigo Flats, Gold Dust, all the way down. And then the Hay Meadow Lift open for you as well. Good place to go for the beginners. Over at Vail, they still have, you know, about 55, 60 acres also. They are trying really hard to get more open. And with the help of Mother Nature, looks like we could get a storm in the forecast this weekend. That could help us out. And then also those cooler temperatures are helping us make more snow. So we'll be we'll be getting there. I know Vail is really close to getting top to bottom skiing and also some access from Avanti chair number two down to McVale. So look for the announcements on that. Stay safe, stay safe all season and get out there and have some fun. We are skiing in Eagle County.
That's a look at your weekend picks. If you want to find out what's happening, you can check out Vail Valley Live. We're on Outside Television, Channel 17 on Comcast Xfinity, or on Facebook and YouTube to get all the details on the happenings around town.